First things first, you'll need to understand how War Mommy's moveset works. She has a basic light and heavy attack, just like everyone else, and while they're good for stoning up chains and mix-ups, I only really ever use them for quick damage or to stop an enemy before they can begin their chain or mix-up. You could get pretty far with most of her lights and heavies, but you're gonna want to learn her special moves. They're stupid helpful. Speaking of, she has four special moves, Beast of Prey. Praying Claw, Prey Upon, and Vicious Impale. All of her special moves are really important to know when playing her, so let's go through them real quick. And at the top of our list is Side Slashing Beast of Prey, an unblockable that can be chained into a heavy, light, or fainted for a guard break, where you can then throw anything else out. It has a pretty slow wind up time, so it can be interrupted by enemies. However, if your opponent goes on the defensive a lot for a parry, you can catch them with a slow wind up time, or you could use it as an Orochi slash Kensei side heavy slash side light and throw it right after an opponent throws their attack for a guaranteed hit. Most of the time, it depends who you're fighting against. Next up, we have Praying Claw. It's an omnidirectional attack that can be used both left, right, and dashing forwards. In addition to this, it can be charged and released a few seconds later. Or not, as it has last frame cancellation and can then be turned into a guard break, which you can throw anything else after that if you choose to. Next in War Mommy's arsenal is Vicious Impale. It's an unblockable that can only be thrown out after a successful parry, but it pushes the enemy backwards and if they hit a wall, can cause extra bleed damage as she scratches them. It's an extremely special and useful move, mainly used for spacing, but hey, if you get a parry, you might as well throw it out anyways. Last but not least, we have Prey Upon. It's an extremely useful attack that can catch enemies trying to escape or use as an opener for chains and mix-ups. While it's pretty fast top forward heavy, just keep in mind that A, it is not an unblockable, and B, it can be cancelled for mix-ups. But, it's usually so fast, you're probably just gonna end up using it to stop enemies from dashing away from you, or to the left or right. And now, it's time for chains and mix-ups. Chains and mix-ups are multiple attacks arranged in a way to bait out or keep the opponent guessing your next move. While a chain consists of 2-3 to three attacks, a mix-up is 3-4 to four plus attacks in a unique order meant to catch your opponent off guard, and War Mommy has quite a decent amount of them. A good example would be Prey Upon, Into Faint, Into Guard Break, into side heavy, into side light, into praying claw, into light. Another good mix up would be beasts of prey, into light, into praying claw, into faint, into guard break, into side heavy, into light, into praying claw, into light. Pretty long, but that's how mix ups are supposed to be to catch your enemy off guard. Just keep in mind that a mix up won't always be able to be completed, as that depends on whether or not your opponent properly reacts to the input you just threw out. But hey, Warmonger has a lot of mix-up potential, or at least she does if you understand how her four moves link into each other. Warmonger's role is that of a vanguard in game. While there are four classes, each with their own part to play, vanguards are great both offensive and defensive characters, and are very malleable on the field. With her moveset and her role out of the way, last but not least, we're on to feats. Feats are abilities that each character has and can be used in 4v4 game modes, and depending on whether you use them right or not, you could turn a losing battle into a winning one. Warmonger's first feat, Corruption Blade, when used, the next attack inflicts the Corruption debuff, 
an effect that heavily damages the infected player's nearby teammates so long as they stay nearby. Essentially, hit someone with this and you give them Rona. People stand next to them, they take dummy damage. Pretty simple and a very good anti-gank countermeasure. Next up is Elixir of Corruption. It's a passive that allows you to gain health from damage dealt to corrupted players. So it's a win-win. Not only do you get to beat up someone with Corona, I mean corruption, but you also get healed from doing so. This can come in clutch in an endless amount of situations and can get you out of super sticky gems is with your opponent corrupted, enemies will think twice about jumping you. Unless they're a troglodyte, then they're gonna jump you anyways. But that is where the extra health and healing comes in. Her third passive, Power of Corruption, is a passive that increases damage dealt to corrupted players. If you're getting healing during the fight, and it's anti-gank, and you get to deal extra damage, come on man, what's not to like about that? I don't think I have to tell you how helpful this can be in 4v4 situations, but uh, just in case I do, you hit one person with infected, two more show up, stay near that person, they're dead, and you have healing off the first person you infected on top of increased damage. That's uh, Ubisoft, how did this slide? But wait, there's more, that's right, her final feat, Corruption Blast, yeah that's right, you get Rona, and you get Rona, and you get Rona. Essentially, it corrupts all foes nearby, dealing corruption damage to a target, and when their allies stand near them, they get damage too. But wait, if all the enemies are corrupted, and they all stand near each other, that's right, they're all essentially dead. So, with the damage stacking, on top of you hitting any one of them, getting health, and dealing extra damage on top of your teammates fighting them, they're already losing health, I... Why aren't you playing warm on me? That's the real question. But hey, I know some people still have some original mains they want to stick to, and they're only really just, eh, I might try out War Mommy, but I think I can convince you. Without further delay, this is Tips and Tricks. You gotta oh, it. Oh, oh, no, please, no! Uh, uh, there you go. Let's go! <laughs> ah! My god, bro, this fucking- Oh, you're there. so weak, you're so weak, oh! Ah, no, no! Help me, help me. Yes. Later, bitch! See, I've beaten ass, and I've got my ass beat. I've watched my friends beat ass, and get they ass beat. And I've learned a few things. <laughs> Tip 1. War Mommy has stupid range. Abuse it at all times, at all costs. Remember when I said Prey Upon was good for stopping foes from running away? Well, let me reiterate. It's really, really good at stopping them from running away. Like, I'm talking, I'ma hit you in China with my top heavy from America, good at stopping them. See, Prey Upon's range is so fast and stupid that unless the other player is knowingly expecting it, then there's a really good chance that by the time their brain has processed the attack, it's already gone through and taken some of their health. Tip 2. When in doubt, scratch it out. War Mommy's Praying Claw attack is an easy attack to throw and land due to its ability to be charged and cancelled for easy mix-ups. But did I mention that the light required to throw out Praying Claw doesn't need to land successfully? Yeah, that's right. You can throw a light out, have it be blocked, and still throw out Praying Claw, which can lead into some really nice mix-ups if you know what you're doing. Tip number 3. Funny Vicious Impale go while I don't use it too often, throwing out a vicious impale just for shits and giggles is actually pretty fun. And no matter what anybody tells you, throwing people off the map is a shitter move. However, alright, however, it's truly beautiful to charge your enemy off the map because they thought they were smart enough to try and dodge heavy you for the one trillionth time and that you weren't gonna parry them. Tip number four, never be afraid to use your corrosive blade on a singular enemy. Even if there isn't anyone else around, if you have the other corrosive feats unlocked, you still get buffed from those. And remember, it's an anti-gank countermeasure, so it's better you use it and not get ganked than to not use it and have to try and 1v4. And last of all, my best tip, go outside. I know some of you really needed to hear that. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> you know who you are, bitch. <laughs> but <laughs> where was I? Oh yes. Forerunner is but a disability, a disease, a tumor, 
right next to being a weeb, Griffin players who eat bricks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and of course, Manning and Rochi. It's Jesus commanding his ducks. I don't, I, I don't think they, <laughs> I don't think they listen very well. I think Jesus seems a little puzzled. Look at that duck. Oh damn, shit's going on. What's that man doing in the back? No. You got any cool words? Your mother is a homosexual. That's pretty cool. You got any cool words? Make sure to adopt and don't buy from breeders. Wow, that looks real fucking cinematic on this camera. Hey, funny goof man, you got any words? Very big spider over there. That's pretty cool. So we've given them granola bars and they do seem to be very happy with it. I think it's funny when you have to look at them. Hey! You don't get any? We should throw it in the water and have the pigeon fight the goose. There's a line of ducks over there. Shit, I fucking love ducks. Say hi, Goofy! Oh. Oh, say hi, Goofy. Why do you look like that, bro? That's a wild picture. It's a giant cabbage. What? Where the fuck did you get that cabbage from? Right from a gay farmer. All the gay farmers have the biggest cabbages. It's not in anyone, though. I swear. What are you doing? I thought that you have to. That's wild. For your interview, first things first, what are your thoughts on War Mummy? I think she's a fucking bitch. I think she has the most AIDS like combos, and it's so annoying. Her voice is just annoying as fucking general. Damn. I don't know. She's a bitch. E That's even my thoughts. even worse than like Orochi's and like Ichigiri's. Ah, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Damn. What am I talking about? Yeah, well, yeah, I, like I don't agree with that decision. It's not even historically possible. Um, she's an alright character. When I when I brace her, it's kinda age. What are your thoughts on War Mummy? She's hot. What are your thoughts on War Mummy? The hell? Oh. You are being maniacal. What are your what are your thoughts on War Mummy? That's fair. That's fair. Nothing nothing about her like character or like her kit or like She has too much range. She has too much range. It's scary. Uh, she, she jumps from China to Africa to get me. That's Which fair. Isn't that far, that's facts. Far. That is absolute facts. Where would you where would you <laughs> rank her as a character? Like what tier? Ah, uh, she's definitely she's definitely up there. Definitely up there. You don't see too many of them, but when you do see them, they're usually pretty good. Where would you place her on a tier list? Um, I ain't played this game long enough to know, but uh, it's kind of hot when she tells me to do stuff, so S tier. Where would you rank War Mommy as a character? Like, what tier would you put her in? Um, find S. What is your reason for that? She's hot. Where would you rank War Mommy? Like tier wise, what what would you put her in? A B. Solid B. What what what's the reason for that? These motherfuckers. Cause what? You can get easily countered. Not easily, but like if you're advancing a really skilled player, you get countered. Alright, alright, that's fair. But but wouldn't that be the same for everybody? Like no matter who the character is. Yeah. So so why does that does that mean all characters are B tier or? Yeah. Next question, where would you rank mommy on like a, a tier list? Like what rank would you put her in? That's pretty cool. How would you how would you try and counter a war mommy? Like if she's spamming or if she's like using constant unblockables, how would you try and get over it? Same way I handle any other motherfucker hyper armor. <laughs> That's crazy. Pretty simple. <laughs> That's crazy. How would you counter a spamming war mommy? 
How would I counter a spamming war mommy? Yeah, like if this they were spamming right. like scratch or check side out, heavy. This move right here. Uh huh. I can spam that one. Like that's true. Other that's true. That's a true yeah. statement. Uh, what? How would you counter a, a war mommy? Like if they're spamming or using blockables or always scratching, how do you counter them? Place your goki. <laughs> and why would you place your goki? The goki's badass. How would you counter spamming war mommies? Okay, what would you- how would you counter a spamming war mommy? Like, like if they were spamming scratch or something? Harry and Weave. Do you- do you have any, like, any oh, words for people who play war mommy? Mmm, die. Uh, what- I to dinner first, though. <laughs> what would you- what would you say to people who main war mommy? Um, or like anyone who plays her. Like the shitters or the good people? Uh, it doesn't matter. Either. Either one. I agree with that statement. What would you have to say to someone who plays or mains War Mommy? Why in a fire? Alright, alright. What do you have to say to War Mommy players? You're a bitch. What would you say to like a War Mommy main? <laughs> Okay. All right. And last, last question: Would you ever consider playing War Mommy? Uh, if I wanted to be a cancerous asshole, maybe. Would you ever consider playing War Mommy? Uh, I'm part of the Orochi cult. Maybe. Oh, I see a Schmitter. All right. Well, get to know. All right. Last but not least, would you play War Mommy? No. And why not? You're a bitch. Alright. Alright. So, uh, last but not least, would you yourself play War Mommy? No. And then what's the reason for that? What? No reason? I Cool. Cool. Aight, aight. I'll... Alright. Okay. Last but not least, uh, would you yourself play War Mommy? Meow. And there you have it. Just like that, you have the knowledge of how War Mommy's kit works, people's thoughts on War Mommy, but most importantly, my thoughts on War Mommy. Now, go play War Mommy. She's really fun. Even if you don't end up maining her, I still think it'd be pretty cool if people played her and if people enjoyed playing her, because she's just a really enjoyable hero. Last but not least, holy shit. This video took a long time to make. I'm exhausted and I'm probably gonna be burnt out on For Honor for quite a while. But hey, that video that I got planned in my mind, that's gonna be really fun to make. Now, with that said, here are some bloopers and I'm out of here. So, have fun. See you guys. Just a friend, just a friend. Are you losing? Push his ass off. Fight back. Fight back. On God, fight back. Fight back. Fight back. God, bro. Start throwing punches, bro. There's no. There you go. What the fuck are you doing? Oh. Hit him, you goofy ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought this man. I'm out. I'm one tap too. Enough. 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 <laughs> <laughs> enough sheep. Enough sheep. Enough sheep. Like, bro. There you go. See, but like, I don't know what to do after that, cause like, this motherfucker, bro. Yeah. You wouldn't hit a nigga with no stamina, would ya? You gonna hit it with no stamina, would ya? Come on, oh man! Oh my Come god, on. watch Come me on, hit man with no stamina. Come on, man! No, I can't. You lost, so hey. I need some help, boys. Yeah, piece of shit up. Damn! 
18. Oh, where are you going? No, 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 no. Where are you going? Hold up. No, no, no. We're gonna talk about this. All right, Mushu. All right, Mushu. Where are you going, my boy? Beat his ass! Oh my God! Fight back, nigga. I got the execution, but it can stop me. Uh, that's, you already that know ain't it. No female booty. That's a man. Uh, us. Oh, that's just my mem. That's my memory of yours. Hey, yo! Whoa! Can we all agree that Rihanna asked to be hit? I mean, I'm we all sorry, know that bitch got an attitude. What? I'm sorry. What? You think you're all? What the oh. fuck? It's a Kyoshi, a black pirate, a fire. What the fuck? Black pirate. Negro. Black <laughs> Yo! That's a black <laughs> French man I've ever seen. Uh -huh. Nigga! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Aiden! Okay. You're such a nigga. You're such a nigga! Aiden, I know you, I know you like men. Don't even worry about it. What? There's no way that hit me. I literally weave! It'd be nice right, if I could, like, pull all guard. He's just poking me! No way! He won't die! I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm, I'm coming, buddy! <laughs> Reporting news. Nap gets no bitches. I repeat, Nap gets no bitches. Reporting news. Dark only takes L's. This nigga only takes L's. <laughs> Reporting news. He poked me and bleed damaged me the whole time. What? He just did snakes bite the entire time. What? That black man. That's sh it's so annoying, dude. I'm actually finna end it off. I'm not moving. Actually, I took the back. <laughs> yes, the first hit. Good night. No, there's no way you can butt, dude. I'm literally like spinning around. You're telling me you just stop me by like pushing me real quick, and I'm just like, <laughs> just have paralysis for three seconds. <laughs> My parry game is crazy, bro.